you're traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. So it is the position of the United Nations that the world population remain calm. What is this? What are you people doing? What do they look like? Yeah, what do they look they like? Are they are they they as of the very moment. This is not a new world. It is simply an extension of what began in the old one. It has refinements. I'm your tour guide in a place designed to show you the beauty of the unexpected. The Lone Stranger! The makers of Fleischmann's High Vitamin Yeast present I Love a Mystery! America's Ace of the Airways! A big howdy-do and how are you? Hi everybody and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. The Academy of Country Music has announced performers for the ACM Presents Our Country, the two-hour special airing next Sunday. They include Carrie Underwood, Keith Urban, Luke Bryan, Luke Coombs, Shania Twain, Miranda Lambert, Blake Shelton with Gwen Stefani, Darius Rucker, and Brad Paisley. In addition, Luke Bryan, Darius, and Brad will honor Kenny Rogers, who passed away March 21st. The artists will perform from their homes, where they will also talk about their favorite ACM moments over the last 55 years. Last night on CNN, Bill Gates talked about coronavirus. What's your message? Well, it's a very challenging time and we're all having to make huge changes to our lives that we never would have expected. Uh, people are rising to the challenge, um, you know, figuring out how uh, to be at their home and reduce their contacts. That's really fantastic. People are figuring out how to volunteer. Uh, many cases through virtual connections, uh, tutoring and mentoring. People are giving money to philanthropies in the local areas that are stepping up to find, you know, where people may not have shelter or food, uh, and that's really fantastic. I, you know, I'm an optimist. Uh, we'll be driven by the numbers, but I, from what we've seen in other countries, uh, if we do this well and nationwide, these numbers will start to come down, and so there'll be a point. You know, hopefully uh, in in uh, 10 weeks or less where we can start going back to normal. That's a long time, though. Uh, I mean, it's a wild amount of time. And there will be this temptation uh, to let off. Uh, unfortunately, that will just mean that it 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 lasts longer or that we have to go back and do that again. So, I you know, I, there's no need to panic, uh, even though the change is is. Uh, is a bit scary. It's time for Things Kids Learn from Cartoon. What's your drama, Mama? Steve doesn't want anything to do with me anymore. We used to have so much in common, but now... Oh, it's all perfectly natural. Steve is becoming a man, and one aspect of being a man is having absolutely no interest in women. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Of course I'm right, because I'm a man. That's it for Things Kids Learn from Cartoons. New numbers say most Americans favor a national shutdown, especially if it keeps Trump off the television. Three weeks ago, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said he was shaking hands with everyone, even with coronavirus patients. Now, he has the coronavirus. This virus is contagious, so is stupidity, one would surmise. Two cruise ships with 30 sick people on board will dock in Miami tomorrow. Wow, Mar-a-Lago seems like the perfect place for a quarantine, doesn't it? The U.S. now leads the world in coronavirus cases. Since the Olympics have been postponed, they'll take this as their gold medal. Target is cleaning out checkout lanes between every customer. They should also clean every customer who goes through a checkout lane. Americans can't wait to get their stimulus checks. I plan to stimulate my liquor cabinet, wine closet, and beer fridge. Time for Nobody Gives a f Americans are buying up lots of toilet paper and food, but not lima beans. It's all in the marketing. Rename them quarantine beans and they'll sell out. Hey, lima beans, nobody gives a f and Fox News host Ainsley Earhart complained that people under lockdown can't get their nails done. Let's remember, folks, that people who watch Fox News didn't actually graduate from high school. Hey, Ainsley, it's a stupid name. Nobody gives a f 
Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo, Tuesdays and Thursdays for NSS Live.